time has come. Morris Techion say that the last remaining egg will soon enter the heart of the confluence. Once it is secured, then by the terms of our bargain, I will grant Sabathun's wish. Doing so will require a great expenditure of my power. The Techions will not be able to maintain my conjuring afterward. Which is to say that the wish will be our farewell. Oh, guardian mine. What a strange life this has been. By Ahamkara standards, it was comfortable and luxurious. I spent my days with royalty and my nights with my beloved. I never wanted for sustenance, for I was presented with wishes to spare. And though it was all taken from me, in the end, my murderer set me free and ensured the future of the progeny my mate and I created. Now, I will sacrifice my own lingering existence to ensure your future in return. Perhaps... I am more like Taranis than I would like to admit. He always claimed I was. One final egg remains, one hidden within my own court by Terranus, in a secluded chamber of starlight and potential. The confluence has aligned, and our goal is in sight. To know all our efforts are coming to fruition is exhilarating. Is that a smile I hear in your voice, Osiris? You're lucky the Guardian was a few words, lest they ruin your stoic reputation in the tower. I cannot help but feel alive in this moment, though there is still much to do. It seems possible now. Of course. My final child is held captive in the Queen's private reign. How ironic. How appropriate. Just think. If we had continued working together with respect, with trust, as equals, we could have built so much more than this city. We could have been friends. Do you feel it, Mara? We stand before the end. All that remains is to know whether we are swept away by it, or it breaks against us. And to see what consequences our wish has wrought. That is where my mind rests. Let hope stay my fears. Hope, yes. But also our metal, our actions. I am confident in our heading. Come what may. In Crow. In us. 
as am I. We've spent so long holding together the pieces, Osiris. Do you worry what will come after all of this? No. I welcome it. I'm tired, Mara. I'm ready for what comes next. It's all right to admit you are too. Scorn have found their way into your domain. How? This place is woven into the confluence. To expose it for us was to expose it to the enemies already within our walls. And the Scorn have long been within these walls. Then we will remove them. Scorn are mindless husks raised by the witness, but others, they bear Fickrell's touch. Has he resurfaced? Crow believes he fled the shore and remains a fugitive. Petra reported activity from Fickrell's knights on Earth. They sought recruits, along with a dead Ahamkara's power. Knights? Strategy? Their culture deepens. Pickerel means to make a wish, then. For the witness. I think not. Their motivations are both against us, but not aligned. Something else is at play.
That have worked? Could the scorn have brought a wish to fruition like that? No. At least, I do not believe it is possible. Though I wasn't willing to see them try. This egg is not the first to find itself in your court. But you intend to breed the Amtara again? I intended to maintain a suitable suite of options from which to choose. Nothing more. Those plans were made so long ago, Osiris, and the eggs corrupted beyond healing. Things are different now. Whether the Ahamkara live on is not mine to choose. To relinquish control is almost as frightening as trust or hope. Sometimes, that is all we have. And in that trust, our pact concludes. I will make your wish. Riven's last clutch, plucked from the void and saved from extinction. Maybe that bodes well for the rest of us. Either way, we held up our end of the bargain. Now it's Riven's turn. Hey. <clears throat> I need to tell you something while I have the chance. That first moment when I woke up in the Dreaming City, I was so lost, confused, I didn't know where to go, who to trust. Everyone hated me for something I couldn't even remember. But you... You helped me find my footing. And when my memories came back and... everything made less sense than ever... you were there to see me through. You gave me the chance to walk through the Dreaming City... with my head held high... and the courage to follow a new path. Thank you, Guardian. For everything. See you, Starside.
Has the time come for my final meal? Your ambitions fed me well before. I've never tasted such a gulf between desire and reality. Then you killed me. Now you and I have returned to the start. Last meal. Last words. Last wish. May it bring you everything you deserve. generation of Ahamkara turns over. One last death to feed new life. What will it feed within you? This one you should cherish, O oh guardian mine. You're sure about this? I am. It has to be me. We'll find each other again. Always. Surprise. For that, at least, you have my thanks. And you have mine for always providing such a unique challenge. To impose your desires upon reality so artfully, you could teach my children a great deal. Until we meet again, Mara. on his way.
It's no small feat, the things you've helped accomplish today. Thanks to you, and guardians like you, Crow has grown, walked his own path. In aiding Riven's clutch, you've averted the annihilation of an entire species, provided a chance for her children to choose their own paths. We'll be there to guide them, should they require it. Riven was never truly an ally, but common cause aligned us in a way I had not anticipated. Relying on her was a risk, true. But there was a time when the Vanguard was averse to trusting me as well. Trust is dangerous, risky, vulnerable. But to trust is to hope. And what is life without it? It separates us from the witness, a creature that is the death of those things, of all things. I've peered into its eclectic souls and found only nihilism. Even now, the soul divisive burns through the dreaming city and the confluence. You've granted the wish, carved a path, but battles remain before you. Expunge the Vex from the dreaming halls while Osiris prepares the veil to forge a bridge to my brother. This will allow you to lead a strike force into the Traveler's Pale Heart and rendezvous with Crow. From there, it will be the fight of your lives. Steal yourself. You fight for all of us. to position your personal harbinger. Their second missive, they say. I already... Never mind. Tell them I will see to its deployment myself. If I could speak bluntly, my queen, you seem distracted of late. Just mulling on history in a different light. Terranus and Riven. Against all odds, they found each other and chose love instead of misery until I tore them apart in the great hunt. I locked Riven in a gilded cage and hid her away. In doing so, you saved her from destruction. For good or for ill, I do not regret my part in the hunt, nor the second chance we have given the Ahamkara by seeking Riven's eggs. And I'm glad she and Karanis could meet again, in a way, before the end. They... They have me thinking of Sewer. I see. What was she like as Queen's Wrath? I was too young to know the Awoken behind the legend. Sewer was the soldier we sent to break the tide if it ever turned against us. If half the legends about her were true, she should have been the one to face the curse. You're both warriors in your own right. She a war cudgel, and you a master crafted blade. But she would have been untested as regent. You gave our people hope when it had burned away in my absence and held it high. You forged an alliance with humanity, guided the Techians because you've walked their path. No one else could have ruled in my place. Any further questions, my wrath? Just one. What did you love about her? I could list reasons until soul burned out, but they would be lacking in complete truth. We do not love rationally. We just love. I'll keep that in mind, my queen. <laughs> 